Throughout time and throughout space, a question is asked throughout the universe. Where is the Doctor? This is the Monkey 953 coming through the ashes to your computer screens and today I'll be reviewing The Magician's Apprentice. It's written by Stephen Moffat and directed by Hetty MacDonald. It starts with a um, all-time war where you see bows and arrows, lasers, ships and hands coming out of the ground. Um, and this child runs away and gets cornered by the hands and um, a screwdriver of help comes to his aid and we learn his name, Davros, the creator of the Daleks. Now we then turn to Earth where Clara is teaching, she's still doing her teaching post and she looks up into the sky and then hashtag the planes have stopped and then she gets a call from UNIT, Kate Stewart makes her return as um, Brigadier and Lethbridge Stewart's granddaughter. Um, they try and figure out what's stopping the planes um, and it is in fact a message from none of that than Missy, played by Michelle Gomez. Um, she wants to speak to Clara. Uh, she's had a disc, like a, a, a last will and testament of the Doctor and being um, their best friends, not really sure what to make of that, um, she gets the disc. Now they pinpoint the Doctor uh, where he's in fact fighting with um, a electric guitar, a daffodil, uh, a non-loaded tank um, used as a fish tank. <laughs> Um, but we try, I think what Muffet was trying to do was try and make him hip, hip even though he's older. Um, to be honest, that, it was funny but I don't think it worked. Um, Capaldi is a brilliant actor and he doesn't need to do that sort of thing. Um, he can do it on just pure acting, he doesn't need to do it by just his looks. Um, like some of the other Doctors that we could mention. Um, However, he gets cornered by uh, Connolly J, and um, who is in fact like an amalgamation of snakes. He's been employed by Davros to corner the Doctor and give him a message that Davros still remembers. Now, he must, however, take Clara and Missy because they are they they decide to go with him they they don't want it they don't want to see him get hurt now to be honest seeing missy on the side of good I, you have seen it in the past with delgado Duke delgado's master the third doctor but you don't see it for very long um i think missy i think I think it's got wrong. I think it's it's lost its way somehow. I, I don't think there should be. Speaking as a woman myself, I don't think there should have been a female master. Um, with Roger Delgado, Peter Pratt, um, Anthony Ainley, they were all brilliant masters. I just Michelle Gomez would have been good as a like the Rane maybe, but I don't think she works as the master. Um, we see the end where Skaro has in fact been um, reborn and I just think that Skaro's done its duty, I think it should have just been buried, not kept on bringing it back. But there was nice little touches in there where the fourth Doctor come back, um, you see him in Genesis of the Daleks with the two wires, um, if you hurt that child then it's just powerful stuff really. He, Davros says to the Doctor that compassion is a weakness and um, we see Missy and Clara get killed, we're not sure, maybe, maybe Missy's got something up her sleeve, we don't know but um, all in all I think it was a disappointing start to the season. I think Capaldi acted his socks off and I think Clara did the same. Um, just for that I would give it a 7 out of 10. Um, good story but to be honest I'm not a fan of the Daleks so um, give, giving the Daleks names uh, I'm glad they've stopped that to be honest I mean what was going to be next Dalek, 
Dalek Brian, Dalek Dave. I think it was just getting silly. Um, but I do enjoy the um, less minus the named Daleks. So I'm hoping that the Witches Familiar is going to be bring you back up. Um, and I hope that Capaldi and Clara continue their good acting. Okay, um, this is my review and I hope to see um, see you at my next review uh, next week, uh, The Witch is Familiar. And uh, take care and I hope to see you next week. Okay, bye bye.